Hi everybody, it's Mark Schaefer with Full Frame Studios. Today I'm just recording a quick video about using anamorphic Siri lenses with diopters and also using uh, lens tubes to get close-ups. Now, I didn't have any good success using the lens tubes. Um, and the only thing that really worked in my opinion was the diopters. So um, I have a set of four diopters, but I only used the plus two and the plus 10 for this little test just to show my results. And uh, here's some more information. Okay, as you can see, I have the full set of the first four Siri anamorphic lenses, but not all of my lenses have the same mounts. So, and my lens tubes are only E-mount. So for instance, the 50 millimeter Siri lens is an X mount and the 24 and the 35, those are E mounts. And my 75 millimeter lens is a micro four thirds mount. So for this test, I'm just sticking with the 35 millimeter anamorphic lens and the 24 millimeter anamorphic lens. So I'll give you uh, different samples without the lens tubes or diopters and one with the diopter and one with the uh, lens tube, which I did not have good results with anyways. So here we go. Well folks, as you can see, the clear winner here is probably the 24 millimeter anamorphic lens with the plus 10 diopter lens added to it. It probably has the most pleasing look. Um, but unfortunately, my diopters are only 72 millimeter and the 24 millimeter lens from Siri has a 72 millimeter thread on it, whereas the 24 millimeter lens has, I believe it's a 67 millimeter thread. Um, so I can only use the diopters right now on the 24 millimeter, but it looks pretty darn good. I'm really liking what we're getting out of these uh, lenses with the diopters. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this quick little video and please throw me a like and a subscribe and I appreciate you and talk to you later. Full Frame Studios.